Mine. It explodes normally. What's that crashing? The tail parts are torn off. And hands and legs of the Russians. Mine. When counter battery works. You take off the scope and run away, understand? Because then you won't be able to pay for it. A rag with gasoline, you wipe it well and then wipe it dry. It smells like a hospital. Can I sit down somewhere? Yes, of course. Take the officer's seat. For the officers, yes. It does smell a bit like a corpse near the chair. You don't have much choice in war. If you just have four walls and a roof over your head, that's great. And then you start to organize your life there. It's like this. How many of you live here? Now we are seven, but in general, it is designed for eight. But, if you really need to, the ninth can fit in your chair. One is on duty, and eight are resting or on the lookout. It's good to be a mortar operator, of course. Compared to the infantry, it's definitely better. It's not just hard in the infantry. I can't even imagine what they're going through. Infantry is a kind of special romance. Some dangerous photos on Instagram. Dangerous photos on Instagram, your emotions. Like on Zeeling Pole, we had shelling, or something else, or saboteurs. And to the mortar men, as they say, it seems safer, but as our commander Yar said, if your position is exposed, you're dead. So you will be shot at too. No one has cancelled the counter-battery fight. And guard. If you ask for it, you've definitely jinxed it. Back up a little bit. Back, I jumped over. Yeah, I got it. It's done. One mine when ready. Shot fired. Greetings to the enemy. Mine. Let them scream, they killed a lot of Russians. Let's wait for the results. But my heart feels that many Russians are dead now. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make it out. Because the more paid subscriptions you have, the more helmets we have, bulletproof vests and supplies for our brigade. Together we will win. We have a scope. It's the most expensive thing here. The base of this weapon, the most expensive thing here. When the counter-battery fire begins, you take off your scope and run. Because then you won't be able to pay for it. Is this your financial responsibility? No, I'm just saying that the scope is the most important thing here. You just can't shoot without it. There are carriages. This is to guide the barrel. In the right direction. The barrel in which the mine is launched. There are two types of mine release. With the rope, how we work now. And there's one with a kick mechanism. That is, there is a pyrotechnic cartridge. It sticks to the pin. And a shot is fired. There is a gunpowder there, so it explodes. And under pressure the shell fires. And the support itself, which the barrel rests on when it hits. That's a good support. Yeah, yeah. This mortar weighs an unconventional 580 kilograms. The specific is that it has a rifle barrel. Some say it's more accurate. For a 120 caliber, it's more accurate than the Soviet models. Soviet mortar or ours. It smells like a hospital. For transportation, line to line must fit. The wheel is hidden under the carriage. The barrel is tilted, fixed with this clamp. And there's another clamp to the support, which is fixed together with the support. For transportation on a tow bar, special device is screwed onto the barrel. That's the loop, and it's trailed to the Hummer or another car. The accuracy here is very good.
its accuracy is at the highest level. This morning they were shooting, and even an evacuation team came to pick up their wounded. The enemies are already squealing like pigs. End guard! Mines! Prepare the mines. I just wanted to go to the bathroom. End guard! It's okay. You can sign it if you want. I already signed it. Did you sign it? Yeah. To our bucha. They've made a mess out there. If you remove or add powder, does the range change? Yeah, yeah. Less pressure in the barrel channel. And the mine is flying weaker. It's easy to put on. I put this torn one on and fixed it. It's okay. Not like the Soviet sacks. Oh, how difficult it is to attach them. We were given Soviet shells, they are from the 80s. And we cleaned them with metal brushes, diesel fuel with gasoline, and rags. One of them is soaking the ribs. There are ribs like on a mine. There is grease stuck between the ribs. One of them soaks it with a cloth and takes it off. He passes it to the second man, who cleans the grease off the metal between the ribs with a metal brush. He wipes it well with a third rag in gasoline and then wipes it dry. It was a long process, a whole assembly line. We made a lot of them in the cellar and hid them there. The guys brought us mines, we prepared them. They worked very accurately. Let them scream, death to the enemy, death. I'm going for the machine gun. The hunt is open. The tiger is local. She's here with a new technology. First, you tear it down. I got it. Timer. You can set delays, etc. You can set the delay, but we just switch to shard mode and that's it. You can shoot now. If you hit it with a hammer, will it explode? I think not. We had guys checking. Yeah, good. That's our way. They just had a mine drop once. Mine. Mine. The wreckage was reported to be 70 meters away. But it may have been 25 meters. It all depends on the weight of the mine, etc. We usually try not to keep them in the cold. Because any changes in the weather change the characteristics. That is, the mine can get wet. When it gets wet, moisture enters the barrel channel, hence the soot. Bad shot. Be careful with the barrel. It has to be cleaned all the time. It's like a personal weapon, like a car. If the car is maintained, it will run for a very long time. If you do not maintain it, do not pay attention, it will not go. That is, it will break down quickly. A lighter. Made to be aimed at night. To the main point of the target. There's a flashlight here. We're attaching it to a tree. Turn on the flashlight, attach it to the tree, and aim the sights at it, at the light. At night, you can't see anything. But here we can see the landmark. It's a flashlight, we're aiming at it. And from it we calculate the angle at which we will shoot and the coordinates. Our task is to cover our guys during the offensive. Or if the enemy attacks, then also cover. That's our task. What's going on in Bakhmut now? I'm sorry, guys. Mine. I expected it, but it was close. The Russians started shouting, one mine fire. At the same coordinates, one mine fire. Mine. This is how we work. 
death to the enemy, 